Alright, if it lands on heads, I'm going to tell you a story. If it lands on tails, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you a double backflip off the wall. Alright, you ready? Alright. Backflip! Ah! Story time with John. So, I've been to the hospital an unfortunately large number of times in the past 18 years, but one of the more interesting times happened when I was three years old. So, basic so basically, normal people are born with two kidneys, which are for, like, cleaning your pee or something, I don't even remember. I, on the other hand, was born with one normal kidney, and then a little shriveled up raisin on a stick. So when I was three years old, they decided that it was time to just get in there and snip it out. So, so one day my mom took me to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, or CHOP for short. CHOP. Now I, now I guess she didn't want to freak me out or whatever because she told me that I was going for a checkup, but little did I know that this was an 18 hour long checkup that would involve me being drugged and cut into without me knowing. So we get to the hospital and they take me into this little room and put me in one of those questionably revealing hospital gowns that you have to wear. Now I was three. I didn't think that it was weird that I, I had to wear a hospital gown for a checkup. You know, I was like, all right, like this is the best checkup ever. Like I get to wear this cool like cloak, like this is awesome. But at one point I did start to get a little bit suspicious and I asked my mom like, seems a little weird that I have to like be on this hospital bed and you know wearing this gown for a checkup like mom what, what what's happening but then before she could answer me the doctor gave me this little cup of purple liquid and he told me that it was laughing juice he, he basically told me that if I drank it I would be overcome by uncontrollable fits of laughter and I thought that was awesome um are you sure this is gonna make me laugh yeah you're just not gonna be able to stop laughing and it's gonna be great uh, okay <sighs> I drank that whole thing in one gulp, I just threw it back like a shot. I probably asked him for more, but I would have di probably died if I took more of that because it was basically a tranquilizer. And you know, I actually started laughing. I wanted it to be laughing juice so bad that I didn't want to believe that it was a lie. So like, I forced myself to laugh to make myself believe that it was laughing juice. I don't know. Next thing I knew, I was laying on a gurney and I was laying there like this isn't a checkup is it so then they took me into another room and they put one of those gas masks on my face and they let me choose what flavor gas I wanted I don't, I don't know I chose cherry because I was three now I don't know I don't know what flavor of animal feces they use to flavor sleeping gas but it did not taste like cherries of course at that point I really didn't care because I was you know dying so after being gassed against my will they took me into another room full of other children who were also probably being unknowingly prepared for surgery. But you know what, right when I got in that room, all my worries kind of just melted away because they had TVs on the wall with Peter Pan playing. And then they left, I'm like, all right, bye. I got, I got my own bed. I got Peter Pan playing for me. There was a, there was a girl laying next to me in the other bed. I was thinking about getting her number later, you know? Yeah, you know, like this is actually a pretty good checkup. I can really get you. And then I blacked out. And yeah, when I woke up, I had a fresh scar on my back and one less kidney. I think my mom felt kind of bad about lying to me about the whole, you know, surgery. So she g gave me this when I woke up. I named him Heartsy because, you know, he just kind of looks like a Heartsy. And yeah, that is the story about how I unknowingly had my kidney removed. So if you have ever, you know, had surgery or been to the hospital for any reason, uh, let me know what went down in the comments because we all know that hospitals are just fun place to be, right? I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but I recently got Animal Crossing uh, for the 3DS and I can't stop playing it. No, I almost got all the fruits in my town. Okay, so after that I'll be able to focus on videos a little bit more. All right. Thank you for watching uh, Remember to leave a comment and like this video and share it on every single social networking site that you possibly could share it on Goodbye Heartsy, where are you? Where'd you go? There he is He was hiding in, He was hiding. He was hiding in my bed You little, you little booger you trying to hide from me? <laughs> Just like the others tried to hide from me. And you know what happened to them. You don't want that to happen to you, do you? No. Didn't think so. Okay.